And now, live from New Hampshire, it's the Kearsarge Regional Newscast, with your host, Noah Braun! Hello again, America, to the best one-man show on- OBJECTION! Ha! I beg to differ, Noah. You aren't the only one working the show, pal. Um, sorry. Do I know you? You look awfully familiar. I'm your editor, Noah. All you do is sit pretty in front of the camera. Well, what are you doing interrupting my newscast, then? I'm sick of you just giving your viewer things. I want to add mine for one. Okay, I'll bite. Let's have ourselves a little debate, right here on television. So today's topic is if the Washington football team should change its name. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the point already. Why exactly did I hire you again? Just stop questioning things and talk, bub. Oh, Alright, fine. Here's what I have to say about the topic at hand. The Washington football team has been receiving some flack for their mascot and name. It consists of a Native American's face labeled with Redskins. The corresponding society this stereotype is based on obviously sees the situation as blatantly racist. Our focus is whether or not the name should be adjusted to match our modern society standards. And because I'm sick of you hogging the spotlight, I will go first, thank you kindly. If the name changes, you'll be throwing away over 81 years of football history. This name represents what the team has been through in their history with the natives. Changing it would remove the meaning our fans have held on for decades. Hold it! You mean the stereotypical and outdimmed images found in places like this? Alright, Bozo. What's your opinion on this? This scene is clearly a product of its time. I don't think that is an excuse that justifies anything in this debate. Whether it's old or not, you can't deny that something is clearly offensive. Yes, that movie can't change what it is, but the football's name can be fixed just like that. I don't think fans would have a hard time with telling the difference between an old name and a new one. Plus, if the people the stereotype it's based on are complaining, then that's all the more reason to do something about it. Not so fast. If that's true, how come the Cleveland Indians are in the same situation? Well, it has been addressed and talked about, but not to the same extent as this problem. Well, I think now we know where we both stand in this argument. It seems we need to let the people decide on which one of us is correct. Well, I guess it's time to disappear and never show my face again. Thank you kindly, stranger. And with that, see you next week, America.